good to see all of you again. Even the one that just went to the bathroom. Um, okay, so I'm sure most of you will agree that um, one of the worst things in this world is the world that we live in is the passing of a child in the natural order of things a child should never go before its parents however when we see like we see children dying at astronomical numbers all over this globe now um when we stand here week after week talking about a good, just, loving God. And some are going to ask, how can a good, just, loving God allow these innocent, these innocent creatures who have not done any harm to anyone, committed any mistakes, or even lived long enough to create a problem to suffer and die? So those who ask this question and don't yet understand why this happens, those who question the wisdom of the Creator, they have yet to understand enough about creation to judge this outcome. They lack the necessary knowledge to understand why this happens. They think in a singular term that life begins and ends here with this body. They have yet to learn about the justice of reincarnation. And on question 199 of the Spirit's book, Kardec asks the enlightened spirits, why is life so often cut short in childhood? And they answer, the length of a child's life can be, for its spirit, the remainder of a former life that had been cut short before its due term. Moreover, the death of a child is often a trial or an expiation for the parents. So when we look at a child and we see a pure, innocent being, we have to remember that those characteristics are of the body. And what most don't know, and those who do often forget, is that a spirit animates this pure, innocent body. A spirit A spirit that more than likely has had many previous incarnations with a lot of mistakes and debts that we're not aware of. So if a previous incarnation was cut short before the correct time, as the enlightened spirit suggests, these, these spirits reincarnate to live out the time that is left over. Often these children are born to parents that need to go through this trial because of actions taken in previous incarnations, the parents need to learn what it's like to lose this child, learn from this pain, and grow from it. So what we need to take from this is the lesson that this question really teaches, that divine justice would not exist without the law of reincarnation. When we learn of a child that has lost its physical life, we must not feel sorrow, but comfort that our fellow brother has had the opportunity to make up for a past mistake. We should trust in the love of our Creator, who leaves none of His creatures helpless, that His justice is perfect. We should pray for our brother and his loved ones, that they may grow from this experience and, and learn what was needed to proceed in their evolutionary process. Thank you.